scouts and ships and whatnot that they put in harm's way to see what the reaction would be of an atomic blast. And uh, I'm sure the atomic testing was conducted predominantly in case we had to be prepared in using atomic warfare to fight alien influence. And they needed a cover story, so this was a, a, the Russians and the Cold War and everything was a, just a perfect cover story. Although it later became more than a cover story, as we all know. Uh, these particular photographs also show small uh, dots and dashes, as I would say. And all of them have been confirmed. Now this black system here in the atomic cloud uh, is actually time being ripped up uh, the, of course the atmosphere and the clouds and everything and then time being warped by the initial blast itself and that's by neutrinos going through and ionizing space uh, ionizing the atmosphere and, and uh, whatnot but exceeding the speed of light so you produce an antimatter background and you get into a blackness and of course here we have another UFO similar to Once again, uh, we haven't been told the truth on any of this. Uh, yeah. been, and right here, also in this picture, in the bombing of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, this is of Nagasaki. Down at the bottom, we see the characteristic human face, uh, which is typical, typical of all A-bomb explosions over populated areas. You will always find a human face at the bottom of the uh, mushroom cloud. Now, nobody really knows if this is just by coincidence or the makeup of the cloud or whatever. But these little dots and dashes, these white dots and dashes, are receding at better than 30,000 miles per hour. And there are UFOs leaving the scene. Japan was infested with them. They had, their Navy had counted better part of 2 million of them uh, toward the closing the end of World War II. Once again, it's all part of an alien attack of planet Earth. It's been going on steadily since World War II era. It's still going on, only now it's subverted into, into large quantity, large uh, groups of human beings being actually abducted and implanted. And that's according to the Roper Report, which is part of the Remington Rand Corporation, uh, who did the reporting for the Bigelow Holding Company. Now they're in a third generation report, and of that third generation report uh, that was sent out to all the clinical psychologists uh, uh, in the United States, 110,000 of them, uh, uh, stated that basically women are being raped uh, by aliens. And I know as, as fantastic as that sounds, it's backed up by John Mack, Harold Wire. Uh, an MD as well as a uh, clinical uh, person. Uh, there's other, there's a, uh, John Mack is the most famous, uh, but uh, there's uh, some 90 concerned psychiatric scientists who are uh, trying to form an organization to uh, uh, prevent secrecy on the subject because it, they have mentioned this is nothing but government sponsored rape. 99.3% are women, 0.7 uh, or 7 tenths of 1% are men. Uh, they're abducted and implanted. So it's predominantly a uh, female, female uh, type uh, uh, monitoring system. So once again, the alien agenda is, is to disturb the natural progress of, of the human race and uh, two alien agenda uh, means. And of course, there's another thing to mention, any outer space alien, regardless of who they are, how benevolent or how, how evil they are, they're, they're a biological hazard because we have no defense against their germs. Absolutely none. In fact, they can kill us just by, just by being around. Uh, I developed something like jungle right I still got it on my feet on uh, my back, and because of the Dulce New Mexico thing, uh, I get free hospitalization for the rest of my life. I think I'm a good guinea pig, I guess. Uh, but theoretically, that's from being around in 
inside that cave at that particular time. Uh, that's the first time I've told any of these people that, but that's basically what it's all about. Um, uh, different time here. Uh, well, we've talked about the dumb bases and the black projects predominantly. Um, alien agenda. Um, I would like to speak to another subject it's called strategic defense initiative. Of course this could very easily be as mentioned by my late friend Ronald Rummel, Rummel who was murdered incidentally by the three people inspired to kill him. Uh, one person did the killing. One was a uh, NSA officer and one was an alcohol tobacco and firearms officer. Both are in custody as we speak. The third gentleman is fighting extradition. He's in Czechoslovakia. Uh, most likely able to uh, successfully fight extradition because uh, they don't follow you know, that's law very well. Uh, anyway, the strategic defense initiative is probably, instead of uh, preventing incoming missiles, although they're now that um, most nations are uh, favored and otherwise have nuclear missile technology. Uh, uh, it's probably some form of uh, outer space defense, defense against outer space attack, and uh, you know, it's pretty primitive indeed, but it's better, better than nothing. And the second part of my talk will be aliens and the alien agenda. I've already touched on that. Old alien bases. Uh, and like I said, Bikini Island, according to what was uh, studied after the A-bomb blast, at the, some of the caves that were infested with uh, out-of-place artifacts dealing with UFOs uh, and other kinds of paraphernalia had, had rock forming around them. So they had been basically an alien junkyard on the in shallow seas for probably the better part of 10,000 years. So they've been around, that you might call an old alien base. Del Sey, New Mexico is another old alien base, or kind of a, a, a botryoidal or clear agate had formed over some of the uh, parts uh, laying on the floor of, of the existing base, and uh, it takes an extremely long period of time for, geologically speaking, this form. Uh, uh, the aliens have probably been here the better part of at least a half a million and maybe as much as several million years, although I have artifacts here which show uh, uh, artifacts that are uh, like a uh, small turbine looking uh, device sitting in 220 million year old fossil coral. And I also have uh, alien metals, which are present in, in other uh, kinds of rock formations, including a piece of petrified wood, where an insect had basically burrowed a hole around one of its limbs, and then something had literally, like a laser, had literally sliced through it. But the cambium, or the or the uh, or the actual layers of the wood, had bent as the beam burned its way through it. I've got that in here too. As well as an original piece of uh, uh, instantly petrified, uh, uh, looks like a garlic root that we found in, in and around Area 51. And uh, this particular piece of garlic type plant was instantly petrified, contains the same exact chemical structure of the quartz crystal. And the quartz crystal only grows in a certain left-handed crystal pattern, and that same pattern is extant on, on fossil, uh, instantly petrified or fossilized plant life uh, of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's identical, chemically identical. So, uh, anyway, the next part of this, second part of the talk are treaties. Basically, there were four distinct treaties made through the United States government from the from the alien encounter. The first one was in 1944. The second one was 1954. 
third one was 1962, the fourth one was 1979. Uh, I'll go backwards. The 1979 treaty uh, was a total violation of, uh, uh, incidentally, in Dulce, New Mexico, where I got badly hurt. Uh, 66 Secret Service and Delta, Delta Force people lost their lives. 22 of which were uh, on loan from other countries, uh, Israel, Germany, uh, Norway, and, uh, South Africa, if I remember. I was the only geologist, geological engineer down there to analyze the situation. Uh, the government almost basically lied to us. They kind of said that alien presence might be there, but they didn't tell us that they knew that there was an alien base and that they had already, already attempted to uh, make contact. And of course, this was disturbing indeed. In fact, uh, a couple of the engineers who managed to survive um, put the project under duress. Another part of the talk are the intelligence community. The Nazi group, the World War II Nazi or Hitlerian group, the Fatherland Intelligence Agency trained our CIA, our OSS, which became our CIA, and other intelligence communities predominantly, and are still being employed today as we, today, as we, in quote, the federal government today uh, trains uh, Bosnian troops on American soil, and from what I understand, that's totally illegal, um, and that's another topic. Uh, 